Hello, this is Nick with Enemy Plays, and we're back to Baldur's Gate. Oh, cool. You leveled up, so you're not completely useless. Not that you were completely useless, but, I mean, come on, you got six fucking HP, like... I can push you over and fucking kill you. Mage spells. I get one mage spell. Six hit points, lore increased by three. Do I get to pick the fucking spell? Ah, uh -huh, ha, uh ha, -huh. oh, motherfucker. Got it. Fuck. How may I be of assistance? I vaguely remember how all this works. It's There's a reason I don't do spellcasters much in this game, because there's a lot of fucking bullshit to remember. So, I went through and I looked at all of these chests. Um, Imowen can't open all of them. They're, a lot of them are locked. So I got through a lot of that stuff. Um, that cave I was in front of, too, I meant to go in there, but I already saw what happened in there, and it's just some fucking gnolls, and I just fucking kill them real quick, and it's done. So I'm just going to say, fuck it, because I'm already past it. I'm not going all the way back just to kill some fucking gnolls and get a little bit of little bit of experience that I, in the end, don't really care about. Even though I am shaping up to, like, going the wrong way entirely. There's nothing in that corner. Where the fuck am I going? That'd be a good thing to know, huh? I mean, maybe here? That looks promising. That's new, I believe. Let's... Let's wait. Uh, no. Journal. Important events. Cloakwood. The investigator would direct me to Cloakwood. It appears that there's a competing iron mine hidden somewhere deep within the forest. What? Cloakwood Forest is your next target. All right. You have but to ask. Where is Cloakwood Forest? I don't know. Well, it's there. I see that. But do I have to go here? I don't remember being here. High Hedge. Alright, we're going to the Friendly Arm Inn. Uh, fuck it. <laughs> Fucking wolves, come on. Wild dogs. It shall be as you wish. Nope, still can't. No, I'm not there yet. Cause I'm gotta go to the friendly arm in. You have but to ask. Huh? Uh, oh no. I what is it this time? It shall be as you wish. Okay, I didn't realize I was still in combat there. There's a lot of shit here for for this just being an inn. Like, holy fuck. My blade will cut you down to size. I feel like pretty soon I'm going to have to turn off their, uh, their audio. Or turn the volume down a little bit further when I edit. Because, holy shit, they say the same things over and over again. A lot. And I don't have a whole lot to add, so... <laughs> okay. So, a uh, couple changes that are coming up. Um, for one thing, this video should be higher quality when it's uploaded. Because I figured out something that I was doing really, really wrong. And without getting into too much detail... I'm, oh, fuck off. Fine, I'll go to the Friendly Arm Inn, and you can fucking sleep, Minsk. If you must. Uh, okay, so the video quality was shitty in the first ten episodes of this, and I wasn't too worried about that. Like, I knew there was something wrong, but I didn't know what it was, and I didn't know what I could do to fix it, and I just stumbled upon it. It was just a stupid thing. I was just basically, um... Oh, Stay thy course a moment. Oh, fuck. You again? 
Well met, young one. I trust that thou art well. I have heard many things about thee in the past few ten days. Uh, that's not a term I'm familiar with. <laughs> and I am most impressed. Okay, I'm starting to not trust this guy. There's something with this guy. And what have you heard? All good things, I hope. That would depend on whom thou would ask, now wouldn't it? For the most part, it would appear that thine actions are well-intentioned, and are therefore received as such, much is as I would have done, though perhaps not using the same method. Likely the clues also point thee in the same direction I would go. Hmm. Okay. I'll... I'll check on your advice. I am certain of where I must go, but perhaps I should confer with you just to be sure. As thou hast no doubt determined, the clues seem to point toward the Cloakwood Forest. Tis likely they are scoundrels behind the bandits have... Tis likely that the scoundrels behind the bandits have some sort of base within the wood. Of course, I am only telling thee things that thou dost already know. Good luck on thy travels, young one. Be wary as well, for thou art making powerful enemies, both here and within thyself. I am sorry I cannot speak more plainly on this matter, but events must unfold as they will without any meddling from this old man. Yeah, there's definitely something yes? up with this guy. I shall attend to it in a trice. Alright, let's... Gather your party yeah, I know. They're fucking... They're on their way. What do you want? Yes? Are you... It shall be as you don't give a shit. Cool. I don't have to do anything with you. Who is here? Oh, that's so much faster. Oh, there's Dorn. That's good to know. There's a... Our look at these forks and tankards. This iron shortage shows no mercy on us drunkards and gormans. Whatever could be wrong with your fork and tankard. They be made of iron, yet they bend under the weight of this inn's meager offerings, and the handle breaks on me tankard to spill this rat spit of an ale onto my lap. Ah, let see. Get me another. So where's the innkeeper? It's Let's... been dreadful slow business lately. None too many travelers have been through lately, what with the supposed troubles down south. So what can I do for you? I need a bed. They're right over there. They're on the other side of the fucking room. Alright. Everybody gather up next to the innkeeper so we can decide on a sleeping arrangement. Fucking no. Everybody. That includes you, Minsk. Get the fuck over here. My inn is open to all who behave themselves. Kay. Now, I'm hoping there's not a fucking dream sequence thing I have to fucking go through. Yes, there's not. Okay. So, uh, video quality. Something got fucked up. Um, I was basically making the episode. I was uh, using the wrong video type when I was uh, not, like, what is it just be as you wish? fucking uploading the video, basically. Um, or doing the editing process. I don't even know what to fucking call it right now. I it's like your party two, three in the morning, something right. <laughs> I'm just bored, so I'm just doing this. And yeah, it's it's earlier than my normal recording schedule. I'm trying to get ahead of this so I can get even more going. Like I want to get. Um, I don't want this week to happen again. This week's been crazy fucking busy. I was late on Monday. I didn't post a video on Monday actually. Um, I didn't post a Baldur's Gate video. I posted, uh, like, two other reviews. But I got... I had to do two on Tuesday then to keep with the schedule. And then I had to make and record on Wednesday. And then... Yeah, I think I did three videos on Wednesday. So I could have them upload on Thursday and Friday. And it was just fucking... So much bullshit. Uh, it took a while. And I don't want to do that again, so I want to get ahead, and I still want to record five on Saturday, so I have my entire uh, week just scheduled and ready to go, but then I'll be ahead, so I'll get everything kind of on, where it needs to be, but, so to start, 
changes that are coming up, this video is going to look better. Uh, and then future videos as well. It's not just going to be this one. So that's going to be cool. I'm really excited to have a little bit higher quality video there. And I think I was saying something about like I knew it was a problem and I didn't really care as much about the video because it was good enough. It worked. And the way I've always felt about like YouTube videos is even though it's a video format, it's very forgiving. Like you can be, yes, I know there's a house there. I'm wandering around intentionally so I can talk. Uh you can forgive poor graphics and that includes the quality of the video that's being displayed because it's it's just forgivable in a lot of ways all right i got to talk to him oh travelers hold a moment sorry if i startled you but i always approach strangers cautiously you didn't approach shit motherfucker i'm corin hunter and archer are you are any of you interested in making some money? If you are, I'm the person who could help you do it. Sure, because you have a profile picture, I'm sure you have something interesting to say in the long run. Yes, tell me more. Ah, dicks, that's a lot of text to read. <sighs> Good, I'm glad you're smart enough to... You know, I'm gonna say right now, I'm glad I didn't make up some silly fucking accent for this guy, because I didn't want to do that for this whole fucking paragraph of text here. Good. I'm glad you're smart enough to recognize opportunity when it comes knocking. The deal is this. I've been hired out by the Mayor Baragos to hunt down a great winged dragon that's been plaguing the caravan routes. He's offered 2,000 gold for its head. Now, before you get cold feet, let me allay your fears. The only descriptions of the beast have always mentioned its deadly barbed tail. From what I know about dragons, they don't have barbs on their tails. That's something unique to wyverns. So all we have to do is find this wyvern's nest and kill it. Our only worries are if our friends oh, are if it has friends over for dinner. So what is your decision? Yay or nay? Uh, fuck it. Sure. Very well then. We shouldn't tarry any longer. Let's collect the heads of those soon-to-be sorry wyverns. Oh. Yeah, no, no. If I gotta bring you, like, I gotta accept you into the party, I like this group where they're at. Um, we're not, we're not doing that. Yes. Ah, well, even the best things pass away. Your company was enjoyable while it lasted. Perhaps we shall meet again. Perhaps yeah, we shall. So, the video is forgivable, because even this, the quality will be improved, and, you know, it looks better, but it's not Dragon Age, or even, um, shit, what's, I'm, I have it, I'm gonna play it too, um, Divinity, Original Sin, uh, it's not up to that quality, but because the game's older, it's not, I don't expect it to be, but it's forgivable. Audio, on the other hand, is a problem. Audio needs to be good enough that it's not offensive, because there's a big part of it that you're listening to what's going on. You can look away to take a drink. You can uh, walk away to make a sandwich. Or, you know, you might play this on your phone and just stick it in your pocket or, you know, prop it up on the counter while you're doing dishes or something like that. And the point is, like, you can look over if I say, like, oh, holy shit, what the fuck was that? Sorry if you just looked over. <laughs> There's just me staring at the back of a fucking shed. But you can look over for that when an audio cue tells you, hey, you know, something's going on that's worth paying attention to visually, but otherwise, this is just boring shit going on. But you're listening to me the whole fucking time, and there's not much you can do. I mean, you could mute it, but I've never known anyone to watch Let's Plays and mute the Let's Play and just watch the gameplay footage so much. It's much more of an audio experience than you would think. Palin and Balquo. Let's talk to Palin. Oh. I really think that Duke Elton should bring in part of the Flaming Fist and put down these wild men of the woods. Okay. Hello. They may call themselves druid, but they're no better druids, but they're no better than wild animals. Oh, all right. What the fuck is this place? That's a lot of fucking... I shall attend to it in a trice. 
What? How do I get in here? Yeah, there's a lot of exterior for very little interior there. Shall be as you wish. And who are you? Aldith Sashen Star. You there! Identify yourselves! What purpose have you wandering this far into Cloakwood? Are you looking to earn some money? If you are, I would be willing to pay a considerable amount for your assistance. I am Eldon Sashenstar, a noble from the city of Baldur's Gate. Perhaps you have heard of me. No matter. I am looking for some good strong people who could defend me against a band of savages. These ruffians have been threatening my companions and me with bodily harm. Would you be interested? Sure. Good. I'm glad you had the sense of decency to help a man in my situation. Let me explain my predicament. My friends and I come here every year to do some sport hunting. This year, however, a group of woodland savages threatened us with bodily harm if we did not stop our hunting trip. Being civilized men, we realize that it's well within our rights to hunt where we damn well please. After a few more days of hunting, the crass woodsman lost all pretense of humanity and murdered Elban, one of my oldest friends. I'm sure they plan to attack our cottage here, so we'd best be prepared. I picked the wrong side of this fight. I have no quarrel with those who respect my forest. Trespassers and butchers of our wood, I, Seniad, have come to administer the punishment that you have brought down upon yourselves. Yet, who are the ones that stand beside you? With them, we have no quarrel. It is now to you that I speak. These men have most likely duped you into protecting their sorry hides. They have most likely not told you of the druid they have slain in cold blood. I will allow you to rethink your earlier decision and leave these men to their most deserved fate. Do not listen to these slavering wild men, my dear friends. They lie, as befits the uncultured barbarians that they are. Um... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm totally siding with the druids. Uh... Yeah, sorry, Aldeth, but we're siding with the druids. They have this great aloe vera balm <laughs> that I'm giving away samples of, and my armor has been chafing a bit, you know? You know, if nothing else, if this will stop Minsk from bitching, I'm all for it. Um, yeah, I'm totally going that route. What? Have you gone mad? Throwing your lot in with a band of madmen? You treacherous savages. You will suffer for your foolishness. I will deal with Sunny Ed after I kill you. No. No. Oh, my heart's really not in this. And you're dead. So yes, you. Never underestimate the power of nature's wrath. I congratulate your wise decision. I wish you well for whichever endeavor you now embark. If your presence in this wood involves those known as the Iron Throne, then I would suggest you head west, then north. Be careful in your journeys, for there are many foul beasts that have inhabited the wood. Another danger is a sect of Shadow Druids. Their order is a dangerous splinter group of the true Druid Order. Well, alright then. They're just going to take his cabin, I guess. That's cool. You had a lot of money. Fuck yes. And a diamond, a potion of heroism, and some studded leather armor. How about your friends? Did they have money? They had some money. Alright. Cool. That's fucking awesome. West to the north, right? That's what he said. <laughs> I should level fellow. these people up real quick. Let ooh, you can use something. I could have you learn longbow. I could not have you learn longbow. You can't learn that, motherfucker. All right. Uh, um, no, I don't. Dagger, maybe. Sure. Learn to use a deck. No, 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 no. No, can I undo that? Can I... 
shit. Oh, just melee. Okay. Whatever. I don't care then. Dagger's fine. Let's do... I was a little annoyed with how I couldn't open locks. So, let's do all of it into open locks this level. And then, Jahira, level you up. You're going to learn how to use a single weapon. Maybe. The character's not with just shield one. One-handed. No. Two-handed weapon style. That's what I want to do. And then... Khalid will level you up. What are you, even? I don't remember. You appear to be some sort of fighter. Because you can use... Alright, you're just going to get even better with the longsword. You are you are a fighter. Alright. And Minsk. I didn't see Minsk leveled up. He has two-handed sword. Two, he does two weapons? And I've got him fucking... Oh, wow. Okay. You're... What the fuck are you doing, Minsk? Okay, you, we're going to do that. We're going to give you two weapon style, because I like the idea of you fucking dual wielding and like cutting the shit out of some stuff. Sounded weird to me. Ah, uh, Minsk. Minsk, Minsk, Minsk. Can, what can you dual wield? Let's give you a bastard sword. And let's give you... That's a dagger, isn't it? That's a short sword. You don't have anything. Oh. Should I... I don't know if I want to do that. Mm -mm. I need to identify this shit. Okay. But we are running late on this episode, and I'm you just watched me level up some characters and shit, so that's not that fun. Let's go ahead and pause. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop for the day, or for the episode. So I want to say thank you for watching. If you would, if you want to, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. Those are things that I am not pressuring you to do. But if you want to, that's fantastic. Short of that, like always, I want you to have a great day and thank you for watching.